interesting vlog we will get to it in a second but I'm drinking my coffee right now so I am about to go to Pilates it's a new place that I'm trying out so I'm pretty excited going with my friend I like it when it's like in a high bun because it's just out of my face while I'm doing my hair where do I even start <laughs> So in my last few vlogs, last couple of vlogs, I kind of mentioned or like asked you guys how you would feel or like is it a good idea if I were to switch over to my other channel as far as uploading vlogs because my other channel is my main channel. I mean, that's my baby. That's where everything started. All my blood, sweat, and tears for so many years went in to growing that channel and an audience. And I've kind of just put it on the back burner for the past few years because obviously I ended up being more into the vlogging content or the vlogging genre of YouTube as opposed to the videos that I used to make. And so I made this channel a priority. Now I just kind of feel like, I just felt like that was just gone to waste. And I didn't know what to do and I just felt like stressed out because for a while there I was still trying to post on that channel. My focus wasn't really with that channel and it wasn't the video like it, the content wasn't as good because I was focused on this channel and it's just hard to focus on two channels I just really want to focus on one thing as far as YouTube like there's just already so many other social media platforms Instagram TikTok there's just so much already other like so many other okay what is this bun doing? Let me continue after my bun. Okay, like I was saying, there is just a lot to keep up with nowadays um, in terms of content and social media. There's just so many platforms and having two YouTube channels, it just doesn't make sense anymore to me. I obviously, like I was saying, I love vlogging and I, I definitely made vlogging my priority over my main channel content. I miss that channel. It is my baby. I worked so hard. I literally started that channel in 2012 2011 I don't even remember it's been 10 years at least and I mean even this channel too I was vlogging on this channel back when I still lived in Vancouver all those videos are deleted now like I don't even know why I didn't even private them I just deleted them it's kind of sad but I mean I've been vlogging for a long time too but that that was just always, I worked really hard on that channel and I don't want to throw it away. I don't want it to go to waste. It just makes sense right now in my life. I feel like I'm going through a lot of changes and I've grown a lot over the years. I feel like it would feel really, really good to me right now to do it and start posting over there because it would just feel like a fresh start. I feel like I'm at like a fresh start point in my life. Like things are about to change. Like things are always changing in life. Um, okay, I'm gonna continue this conversation after my Pilates class because I'm about to be late. I need to leave my house right now. But I will continue talking about this after my class later in this vlog and I just think it's a really good idea right now it's a good time I mean now or never <laughs> like I don't know why I've waited so long to start vlogging over there and switch over but I think it'll feel really really good for me I feel like a bit of like a clean fresh start it'll feel like I don't know maybe it'll like inspire me more I just I kind of am mad at myself for not doing it sooner maybe like when I moved away from LA I feel like that would have been a good time because it was such a change in my life but you know it's never too late and I think it'll be a really good just a really good fresh start and motivating for me so anyway we'll talk about it more when I get back but let's go to Pilates <laughs> What's up guys? It is a few hours later, a lot of hours later. I literally fully showered after the Pilates class, blow dried my hair, did makeup, and yeah, now I'm at my boyfriend's house, as you can see. But I still need to do a lip product, and since this video is actually sponsored by Nova Beauty, which is Fashion Nova's new beauty line, this is a 
box full of their lip products that they sent me. I'm gonna try out on camera, do a little step-by-step -step using all of their products. They sent me the goods, you guys, look at this. It's really, really cool. They came out with a lip liner, a creamy lipstick, and a lip gloss. So I've already tried some of these out, some of the colors, and I absolutely love them. They're literally like really long lasting, but they don't like dry out your lips. Like literally my lips have been chapped enough as it is, dry enough, and I have like not been wanting to like put anything on my lips, but these are like the, Lipsticks are super, super creamy. I mean, it's long wearing, creamy, and moisturizing, which it's hard to find in a lip product all in one. So yeah, let's let's pick out a color for today. Ooh, okay. I haven't tried Pink Nude 2. So that's the lip liner I'm gonna try. And then for lipstick, what I really love about these lip liners, you guys, is the fact that it's dual ended and it has this brush on the other end you can like kind of blend in your lip liner with which i absolutely love because i just feel like lip liner gets all splotchy sometimes like you want to like blend it in with your finger but it's like hard to blend in so i really like that there's a brush on that side what lipstick do we want to try Ooh, i like og that's that's a contender i really like poppin i've tried that one Poppins, one of my favorite, and then also Pleasure is one of my favorite. So, okay, we haven't tried OG, so we're gonna try OG, new Pink Nude 2, and I think I'm gonna try the Clear Gloss. Or should we do Shimmer? I'm a Clear Gloss girl, let's do the Clear Gloss. I also really like these lip liners because you don't have to sharpen them. I swear to God, I'm always out, not at home, and I don't have a pencil sharpener on me. And so I really like how this is twist up. So I'm just gonna use this huge mirror because the box that they came, like it literally has perfect mirror. And we're gonna apply. Super pigmented, you can already see. And just goes on so easily. So yeah, the liners have a matte finish, but they're still like literally creamy and they don't transfer or smudge it or anything. Ooh, I like this color. How have I not used this color? What, this might be my favorite color actually. I am obsessed with this color. Now I'm gonna use the brush to blend it. Okay, do we absolutely die for that color? Cause I do. Wow. Wow, okay. Next, the lipstick. So there's actually three different formulas for the lipsticks, matte, satin, and shimmer. And I'm using OG, like I said, and that is a satin finish lipstick. And I like to use my finger to do it, I don't know. And we're gonna top it off with the High Shine Gloss, just the clear gloss, it's called Thick with two C's. Mm-hmm, oh yeah. Ooh, I love it. So the gloss is like super, again, moisturizing, but it's not like, doesn't get sticky. It doesn't have a weird smell. It almost feels like a chapstick. Like it, it doesn't feel like a lip gloss. It feels like a moisturizing chapstick. I love. All right, so that is the finished lips. I love these products so much. I will have the link to Nova Beauty in the description box and everything to go shop, go check them out. I love so many of the colors and like even look at these lip glosses, like this purple shade, I am so excited to try. It's called Period and I don't know, just like all the shimmers. This is another one of my favorites. It's called No Cap, nice neutral. I mean, you guys know I love the neutrals, but so many fun colors, so many shades and I'm excited to try them all. Archie has joined us. <laughs> um, so yeah, like I said, I'm at my boyfriend's house and I really want to show you guys the renovations that have taken place so far. And also today was exciting because they started painting the house or the process of painting the house. I got a few clips. Anyway, we'll talk that we'll talk about that in a second. But I do want to talk about again what I was talking about earlier this morning before my Pilates class, which ooh, that Pilates class was bomb. I'm gonna be going back there this Thursday. But I was kind of explaining and talking to you guys about um, just life <laughs> and you know what's going on and the channel and my thoughts on that. But I feel like I pretty much, I mean, said it. I'm going to be starting to post only on my Sierra Furtado channel, the main channel that 
started everything, started it all, my baby. So I just feel like it's a fresh start. I feel like I'm repeating myself. It's just almost like a mental thing. It just feels like I'm still attached to a certain part of my life that I don't want to like be attached to anymore. I just want to move on from that. And I feel like switching over to the main channel will just give me that fresh start that I really think I need. And I feel like it'll motivate me. And I also feel like on this channel, like people hold on to a certain part of my life. Like I've grown so much, I've changed. Everyone changes constantly. It's healthy. I don't think like your past defines who you are or anything. I think the, isn't that like the power of now? The past isn't, doesn't exist really, you know? <laughs> That's how I like to look at it. Like the past, yeah, it shapes who you are, but there's no need to dwell on things or let them affect you or, I don't even know, I'm getting all deep now and making no sense, but I just feel like some people associate that channel with a different part of my life and that's just not me anymore. It's just, not me. I mean, yeah, that's pretty much it. And I honestly think that two years ago probably would have been a better time or probably was the time and I just didn't really see it to move on from that channel. I just, there was no need for two channels ever. I don't know why I thought there was. Anyway, you live and you learn and I think this is a good move. Hopefully, hopefully you guys continue to watch. If you guys like to watch me, definitely go subscribe to that other channel if you're not already. I feel like most people probably are because I feel like that's how you guys found me. But I mean, I'm sure there's new viewers on this channel too that are like recent viewers. But yeah, moral of the story is I will, I will no longer be posting on this channel. Doesn't mean like I'm not like stopping or quitting YouTube. It just means definitely go over to that channel because that is where I will be posting from now on. This will be the last, the last vlog on this channel. I hope people aren't confused. Like I'm not, not quitting, none of that. I just will be on another channel now, on my main channel, on the Sierra Furtado channel. And on that note, let's show you guys what we've been up to at my boyfriend's house with, first of all, the cabinets. Do you guys remember they were brown, dark wood? We decided not to replace them and we're not really doing anything else to the inside of the house except for that. And I think it looks a lot better because we just wanna do it quickly and don't wanna to put too much money into it. So yeah, that's what they look like. This is the hardware that we chose and I really like it. Looks a lot brighter and nicer. Here is that and we did it literally everywhere. Same color, same knobs in the kitchen too. I filmed some clips earlier today on my phone of what the outside of the house looked like before um, today. Today they started painting. I know, Archie. Today they started painting. It looks really good so far, but they're not done yet. So I'm just gonna show you guys what they've done so far outside. But like I said, I'll insert the clips here of like earlier today. As you can see, the color of the house is like a tan pinky, like it's very pink toned. And then the trim is like purpley brown. Like, I don't know, it looks very purpley in my opinion. So we're gonna paint all that and we're gonna paint the garage door and the front door. So yeah, that's what the house looks like as of this morning, but let's go. Let's go see what it looks like now. They only did the front of the house. Ooh, and also, let me show you guys the kitchen real quick. It's kind of messy in here, but it just looks so much brighter, right? Like, it looks a lot better. I mean, sadly, we couldn't change the holes. Like, I feel like this is a very awkward placement for knobs, and I know that. We just couldn't change the holes to get, like, a bigger pull because the holes were already in there. We didn't replace the cabinet. I think it looks a lot better and brighter while well, the lights are off and it's getting dark, but I think it looks good. We got here, too. Just looks a lot better. Of course, it is messy in here, but... Oh, and here are the little knobs. I love the color. I'm a fan, I'm a fan. I'll show you guys the backyard. So they have not done anything out here yet near the pool. But as you can see, this is the color that it was or that it still is back here. And all of this is being painted too. Now I'll show you guys what they've done so far. Oh my God, it looks so good. I actually I like have barely come out here. I don't know if this is primer or paint. I feel like it's paint. It is gonna look so much better. So as you can see, there's, they like taped up there and they haven't done the trim or the garage, but like you can already kind of see what it's gonna look like. So the trim, the garage and the door are gonna be like a dark charcoal, almost black color. Oh my God, it looks so much better though already. Like also we're gonna, oh, we're painting this 
because obviously it really needs it. We're leaving the stone because I feel like painted stone just kind of looks like cheap. I feel like the stone is actually gonna look really nice once the garage is painted and everything's painted. I feel like it'll actually look really good. I mean, it already looks pretty good. I'm excited, so yeah. I mean, that's what we've got going so far. We're also replacing the light fixtures. Um, they already took those ones off, but yeah. So I will show you guys um, the process once they do the rest of the painting and it's all done and everything. I'll obviously show you the final product, but that'll be on the other channel once again. So that'll be over there once it's done because like I said, this is the last vlog. This is kind of weird. I mean, it's literally like the same. It's just a different channel. And think of overthinking. Anywho. Yeah. Oh my God, it's gonna look so good. This is like, really needs to be painted. Oh my God, I just wanna stare at it all day. It looks so much, it's gonna look so good. Wow, wow. Also, in case you guys were wondering what it's like to uh, live at my boyfriend's house, not live here, but be at my boyfriend's house. There's just iPhone cables constantly everywhere. Just look at this. <laughs> What in the actual F is going on? These are all samples. So um, one of his businesses is he sells cables to retailers. So there's just constantly iPhone cords and cables everywhere, which is kind of nice. You never run. I don't think I could ever run out of a charging cable in my life. <laughs> anyway, I kind of thought that was funny, but yeah, now I'm just gonna, I'm kind of waiting for my boyfriend to be done with work. I got all my work done, all my things I had to post for a few brands today, and I kind of, I'm really hungry, so. Waiting to go to dinner, hopefully, and yeah. Archie's enjoying his stick. He's a happy puppy. We love, such a good boy. I literally, don't think you guys understand how much I love Archie. He is my actual son. I don't even know if I need babies because <laughs> I'm like a little too obsessed with Archie. Yeah, I could stare at you all day, Archie. I love you, Archie. He won't look at me, he's too into the bone. All right guys, it's a little later. We actually just got back from sushi and we're about to watch some Netflix. I don't know, I think we're watching a J-Lo documentary is on the screen right now, but I think I'm gonna end the vlog here for the last time on this channel. This is very weird. This is very weird. <laughs> Maybe, you know, I'll do a follow-up video in like a month just to make sure everyone knows that vlogs are gonna be uploaded on my other channel now. This is the last vlog and you know, bittersweet a little bit, but it's for the best. And I'm really excited for what's next and you know, to constantly change and grow. And I think it's just necessary. So I'm excited. I hope you guys are too. I hope you guys go over there if you're not already and get excited for a lot more content over there, a lot of vlogs and you know, just whatever I'm up to in my life. So yeah, I love you guys so much and I will see you over on that channel in the next vlog. Bye guys.